The case, which has been spanning for the past five years, saw the first accused, Sedina Tamaklo Ationu, abscond after obtaining permission from the court for a medical check on multiple sclerosis in the United States. The trial proceeded in her absence, with the court coming to the conclusion that she had caused financial loss to the state to the tune of 90 million Ghana cities. She was therefore handed a 10-year jail term and slapped with various fines which must be paid or an additional five years will be imposed. Head of operations of Maslok, Daniel Axim, who was standing trial alongside the Maslok boss, was slapped with a five-year jail term. The duo were charged with 78 counts of conspiracy to stealing, stealing, causing financial loss to the state, causing loss to public property, improper payments of public funds, and unauthorized commitment. In her judgment, Justice Ifya Sewa Asaribuchi condemned the prosecution for not utilizing international security agencies to bring the absconded Sedina Tamaklo Ationu back into the jurisdiction. She also criticized civil servants with high qualifications who failed to assess themselves and simply did the biddings of politicians. Reacting to the judgment, Deputy Attorney General Alfred Tiaiabwa indicated that the Maslok CEO will be extradited. You've started the process, and with this judgment, that's going to speed up the process. And you know, Ghana, we have various laws. You can just stay away. But so far as we have laws relating to how you can extradite from one country to Ghana, get us a judgment against like this one. Rest assured, that should be brought down to face justice. When it comes to extradition, sometimes you start and you have some kind of problems, blocks. The person may choose to appeal a number of things, but this is the situation where we have final judgment. It's not as if you are being brought here to be tried. We can raise all the press out there. The prosecution have further been directed to seize the assets of the convicts, especially the former Maslok CEO, as part of measures to recoup the funds. Lord Edward, sorry. TV3 News, Accra.